Anti-personnel landmines. Long after wars and conflicts end, they remain buried, waiting to kill and maim indiscriminately. No one knows how many landmines lie buried today, but current estimates are from 50 to 100 million. This Japanese company has a long history of developing machines to remove anti-personnel landmines. It originally manufactured and sold construction machinery. But a visit to Cambodia in 1995 convinced its former president to also develop de-mining equipment. It was just after the end of the Civil War, so many mines and other munitions were still buried there. We made many visits to Cambodia to consult with local people on ways to remove them. That enabled us to develop our demining equipment. They remodeled construction machinery such as excavators into demining equipment. Refining their equipment involved working closely with the Cambodia Mine Action Center. This is one of their current mine clearing machines. The attachment on the excavator arm has two functions. First, it clears away brush and vegetation, and then it destroys the buried landmines. Rotating blades crush and deactivate the mines before they can detonate. The company currently supplies its series of demining machines to 12 countries. In 2024, Ukraine began using these machines in its ongoing war. My goal is to help countries regain peaceful conditions as quickly as possible and to create a situation in which local people can live their own lives just as they wish. Another Japanese technology is being used in mountainous and other areas unreachable by heavy machinery. The old method was to locate mines with metal detectors, then dig them up by hand. This is dangerous work that can cause many casualties. I would like them to use our robots instead, as the workers can operate them from a safe distance. Anti-personnel landmines detonate when they sense a pressure of just five kilograms. It took much trial and error to find a way to dig them up without applying such pressure. When I learned of a drilling technique using compressed air, I realized it might be a solution. This method lets us gently remove the soil without putting strong pressure on the mine. This technology allows demining to be faster and safer than that done by hand. In 2024, the Ottawa Convention Review Conference on Eliminating Anti-Personnel Landmines was held in Shemriap, Cambodia. The Japanese companies demonstrated their demining innovations to experts from around the world. Japanese technology helping to realize a world free from landmines. <laughs>